We're going to take a look at two players that uh, they have the Browns trading away. First of all, they say the Seahawks trade for center J.C. Treader. We kind of alluded to that um, as far as cap savings and those kind of things. And they also have the Tennessee Titans um, trading for wide receiver Jarvis Landry. Again, another cap saving move. And um, if, the, if the Browns front office could potentially do that, that's a, a, a good way of – lowering the salary cap, getting back assets, and kind of moving on as opposed to, well, we couldn't renegotiate, so we move on and we don't get any assets back. So trading those two, um, if they can find ways to get assets for it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. But, uh, you know, in, in the case of Jarvis Landry, uh, he, he does have a cap hit of over $16 million next year. 16.79 or something like along or 16.37 or something along those lines. So in order to actually make some kind of a deal, somebody would be have to be willing to uh, renegotiate his contract and, and restructure it and give him some guaranteed money. And it, it would have to be something like that where somebody was willing to uh, pay him some money and, and give him what he wants. This is not, a team is really not going to just take on a, $16 million cap hit for next year for a receiver coming off of a down season who is turning 30. But uh, there are things that can happen. Uh, and then J.C. Treader, yeah, I'm sure that he would be attractive in a trade like that because that's a $9 million cap hit is not a ton of money for a really good, durable starting center. So I could see a team doing something like that. And I could see the Browns possibly parting ways because, you know, Nick Harris has shown some promise. He had a good start in place of J.C. Treader. Maybe it's time for him to step in there and uh, the Browns can save a few pennies that way.